A report by the NCAA states that 57.6 of football injuries occurred during practices. A head trainer claims that this is too high for his conference, so he randomly selects 36 injuries and finds that 17 occurred during practices. At the 5% level of significance, do the data provide sufficient evidence to conclude that the coach is correct? So this is a hypothesis test for a single percentage or proportion. They're giving us the alpha, that's the 5%. So alpha is the level of significance, so 0.05. And then they always give us n and x in these problems. n is the total number of observations. x is the total number of successes. In this case, he selects 36 injuries, so n is 36. Successes, in this case, success is an injury that occurs during practice, so x is equal to 17. All right, the first step is to set up the null and alternative hypotheses. So this is a hypothesis test for a single proportion. So P is the population proportion. And we want to know if the data provides sufficient evidence to conclude that the coach is correct. Well, the coach is saying that this 57.6% is too high for his conference. So he believes that the proportion is less than 0.576. Very important to write this as a decimal, right? P is a population proportion. So even though here it's written as a percentage, it's always important to convert it to a decimal. Here it's also P, and it's always equals, so 0.576. That's it. Steps two and three we'll do entirely in StatCrunch. So we'll go to StatCrunch now, and we just go to Stat, Proportions, One Sample, With Summary. Then you left click. Successes in this problem is 17. Observations is 36. And then here we need 0.576, and we have to change this to less than. So let's just check. Successes is 17. Observations is 36. We've changed this to 0.576. Everything looks good. Click Compute. There's our test statistic, so Z in this case is negative 1.26 and the p-value is always step 3. The p-value here is 0 0.1038. Step 4 is the test decision. We have to decide whether to reject h sub 0 or fail to reject h sub 0. Whenever the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, we reject. If the p-value is bigger, we fail to reject. In this case, it's bigger, so it's fail to reject h sub 0. And then step five is our written interpretation. So at the, we always start by mentioning the level of significance. In this case, it's 5%. 5% 5 level of significance. And now we have to decide if there is or there is not sufficient evidence um, to support our claim. So in this case, if we, we fail to reject H sub 0, so there is not sufficient evidence to support H1. If you reject H sub 0, then you do have enough evidence to support H1. Here we fail to reject, so there is not sufficient evidence. There is not sufficient, let's put suff, evidence to claim that, and usually the last sentence uh, tells you what you need that the coach is correct. The coach is correct. You can usually go straight to the last sentence and finish it. That's it.